This quick video will show you how to set up SSIDs in the Unify controller that correspond to different VLANs. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your Unify controller. Step number one done. Then we're going to go to settings. Then we're going to click wireless networks. Then we're going to click create new wireless network. Now the wireless network, the name slash SSID, that's what you see broadcasted. Uh, so when you have your device, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, that's the actual network name that you see. So we're going to give it a, a name. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to set our security options. This is going to be our public Wi-Fi, so we're going to leave it open. We'll get into guest policies in another video. However, we do need to use a different VLAN for this. This will be VLAN 4. So you click Advanced Options, select the VLAN checkbox, and then enter your VLAN number. Then we're going to click Save. So we just created the support group wireless network. It's open. It is on VLAN number four. We're going to create one more. This one will be password protected. Not very strong, but this is for demonstration purposes only. We click that advanced options, use the VLAN box. This will be VLAN number five. We'll save that. Now you can see if I had access points in this current site, which I don't yet, but we will, uh, they would be provisioning right now. And those two wireless networks would then appear and be routed to the proper VLANs. It is important to note that you know whether whether using ubiquity switches or another brand that the ports that the access ports are plugged into will have to be configured to allow those VLANs if you haven't been over to the ubiquity networks community you should really check it out the websites community.ubnt.com and there's a great group of people over there to help you out thanks for watching and I hope you come back soon